everybody, it's Claire. Thank you so much for stopping by. Today I am bringing you my April favorites and I haven't done an April month favorites in so long. I was watching some of my old favorite videos from like 2010 and I was sitting in my college bedroom on my floor, the messiest room possible behind me and this is when I was just totally in my college young days. I sound so old when I say that. All I was talking about in the video for half the time was some good looking volleyball players that were outside my windows. I hope I have come a long way since then in favorite videos and after seeing that I was like I have got to do one just to make up for old times. Some of these products I have been really really using the heck out of. In fact the first one I want to talk about I need to repurchase and you guys have seen me use this in maybe a couple of foundation routines but um, this is my favorite high-end foundation at the moment it is the makeup forever HD foundation and I am just super into that very glowy kind of skin look right now especially um, you know now that we're getting into the warmer weather I like my skin to look like it's just really beaming like I am just glowing like a pregnant woman or something I'm not pregnant well, I love that look and I feel like this gives me that I will be repurchasing another one of these but this has been a favorite especially when I go out and want to make my skin look really nice that's when I spoil myself and treat myself to a really nice foundation routine if you guys want to see an updated one I'll be happy to do that just make sure you leave a comment below and I will get around to doing it the next item is from Sigma and it is their smokescreen eyeshadow palette I've not had one of their eyeshadow palettes before it comes with do a little first grade math here 12 eyeshadows here it has all the names on the back I love this palette because it has a variety I like to experiment with with darker shades and do a lot of smoky eyes so I was really impressed I'm always impressed I always say this but I am impressed when eyeshadow palettes have a matte selection I don't know why but mattes are, I don't know if it's like hard to make in the factories or what in the makeup factories like matte is just a hard formula to put together but it um, when I see it in palettes or in affordable palettes in drugstore like price point makeup I jump on it I kind of go nuts I love this soft kind of like lilac pink that's a matte I don't even think MAC has something like that so I was like hey Sigma step it up your game next product I have is a rollerball perfume and I feel like I haven't had a rollerball style perfume since like middle school but I love these the only thing I don't like about it is that I don't know when to stop rolling the ball on my body so I've already gone through half of this almost half of it in a month and it's by Illum which I hadn't heard of before and it's their from their go be lovely line I think that's so cute it's just like go be lovely I hashtagged it and felt so cool on Instagram I never get complimented on my perfume when I wear it and I get kind of sad when no one says anything because I usually think I smell good but this I got so much attention for and I'm not gonna lie it made me feel really good I like getting noticed for my smell in a good way so I honestly give all the credit to this and I also want to tie it to my next favorite because which isn't really a beauty favorite but the reason I found out about this perfume is from my new studio mate and if you guys follow me on Instagram you might know that I have recently moved into a new working studio downtown from where I live with five other full-time blogger slash independent female entrepreneurs and we're all working out of an incredible space together so I actually have an office where I am running my YouTube slash blog slash workshop business so I'm gonna start doing makeup workshops there and it has been amazing I just started um, over a month ago and it's already going by so fast so if you guys follow me on Instagram that's why I've been posting pictures in this new unfamiliar place but soon I'm gonna be filming in there and it's just that has been my favorite is um, being becoming a part of an office with all these amazing inspiring women five or full-time um, 
full-time employees there and then there are six others part-timers so all women all working independently in this amazing space and soon I'm gonna have a whole video on the place there's gonna be a ton of photography on it so I can show you guys pictures of it soon stay tuned make sure you follow me on Twitter Facebook and all that good stuff so you can see me um, kind of just my new space and where I'm working and uh, yeah I'm gonna have some workshops set up so I hope I get to meet some of you guys for that and so stay tuned that is my next favorite is moving into my new studio with some amazing women so I just wanted to slip that in there and uh, I can't stop cheesing about it I'm really excited I'm growing up next I have Sally Hansen's airbrush legs and this is water resistant instant leg perfection makeup and it really is instantaneous they are not kidding when it comes out it's like a stream of brown brown water is just like coming out so quick. I was in a pale pinch. I had to wear shorts for a fundraising event that I was a part of and I was looking down and I was like, yeah, I can't, I can't go like this. I went to CVS, bought this, is about $13 and you get a good amount of product. I covered all my legs and I did a couple layers. It looked so nice. It does have a bit of a shimmer to it, but it works instantly. It covered scars, weird like, you know, terrible shaving mishaps and I just could not believe how good it looked. I mean, it has this like these secretary legs on here and I was just like, okay, let's see what this is all about. And they had about four shades. Um, I got the third darkest or the second darkest, excuse me, it was deep dark, tan glow, then like medium, then I'll say like a light color. So the next products I have is more of a line from NYX and that is their cream blushes. I am hooked on cream blushes right now. Again, it has to do something with that glowy finish to my skin. I think it's so healthy looking. It just gives me life and I just think that these are such a bargain. I have been looking at the ones at Sephora. I go in, I put the swatches on my hand, I have them tested out on me, like the Stila Peony cream blush, Max cream blushes, and then I chicken out because I just can't get myself, I have so many powder blushes that I can't get myself to spend the money on, you know, just a bunch of cream blushes on top of it. So these I have just found to be amazing dupes for when I want that really hydrated glowy cheek and I have two shades from NYX and I'm going back and forth between the two. The one I've been I have on right now and that I'm obsessed with is T Rose. It's gorgeous. Gives this perfect little flush of color right here on the cheekbone. Six dollars a pop. Can't really beat it. And NYX just joined CVS so that is like going to kill me. Here I have Anastasia's Brow Wiz Dual Wand Pencil and Brush. If you aren't familiar with it, it does have a spoolie wand here on this side to brush through all the hairs. And then on the other side, it has a very skinny, and I am talking skinny, skinny mini pencil that helps you get in there and give your eyebrows the natural eyebrow look. So I'm gonna go get the blonde one. Um, or like the ash blonde one for my kit. If you're a makeup artist, I recommend it. If you are just starting out with eyebrows, I recommend it. The quality is just like nothing I've ever seen. So the next product I have is a nail polish bottle by Essie. And this one is called Limo Scene. And it is like so washed out in the camera right now, but it is a very opaque white slash cream slash baby pink color. Oh, it looks so pretty. If you're looking for like a very clean, put together look, and you look down, it's one of those colors you just look down and you're like, oh, my, my hands look so pretty right now. It just makes them very feminine and would be so nice for, for work. I just really love and just respect this color. That sounds so weird. It's gorgeous, gorgeous. Two coats of it and you're done. The last product I have is the Urban Decay all nighter spray and I've had a couple of finishing sprays in my day especially from doing makeup for so long and needing one to really do what it says it's going to do this is the only one that's lived up to its name and print on the bottle it's absolutely amazing it keeps it all in place so right when you're done with all the powder you've done and everything it's going to make it look fresh like skin again but also 
keep it in place and it's not gonna budge, especially when it gets hot or sweaty. I would definitely recommend this over anything instead. It's it's a miracle worker, especially, um, again, if you're a makeup artist and you are setting brides makeup, all that good stuff, there's nothing like it. So that concludes all my April favorites of the month. I hope you all enjoyed it and I'd love to hear what some of your favorites of the month were in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Also, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I would love for you to become a part of it and so we can stay in touch. Also, one more big thing, if you guys haven't already, I have a Google Helpouts account where I am teaching makeovers over webcam, and it's one-on-one -on -one lessons. I talked about this in my last makeup tutorial, but I am so excited to meet some of you guys on there. I have the link below where you can go and sign up with me. I have my schedule of when we can book an appointment together and meet over webcam. It would be so amazing to teach some of you makeup one-on-one -on -one and answer any of your questions. So I really appreciate you guys being here. I look forward to seeing you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.